Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, have you ever heard of the Hermetic Principles? The Hermetic Principles are ancient esoteric knowledge. And basically, principles are something that's irrefutable. You cannot de deny them. They are always going to be fundamental truths. And they can't be changed, kind of like gravity. So the Hermetic Principles applies to everything. So one day I'm sitting down thinking, and I'm like, it applies to everything. How does it apply to real estate, All right? So I came up with this situation. So the Hermetic Principles, number one is mentalism. All starts in the mind. And what that means is um, thoughts create realities. So whatever you're thinking, everything starts in the mind. So let's just say you running around thinking about real estate all day. I want to buy real estate. I want to buy real estate. Eventually, you're going to see a house for sale. That's how mentalism corresponds to these principles. You can't change it. If you think about it all day, it's going to it's going to manifest itself. The second one is correspondence as above so below and what that means is everything on a micro scale is equal to everything on a macro scale the big is the exact same as the small so it's like uh, the cells in your body they look just like the universe they are the same as above so below so how does it correspond to real estate well, if you look at a large commercial building, it's the same concept as a small house. And what I mean by that is, if you do the net operating income, figure out how much it costs to run this commercial building and how much it costs to run this house, they the exact same thing, the same formula, but just different avenues. So a down payment, that's the same way. You need a certain amount for a commercial building, just like you need for a single family. So that's the law of correspondence. The law of vibration means nothing is ever at rest. So nothing is ever at rest. So if you think about it in a real estate point of view, it's like the cities. The city is never at rest. It's always something going on, right? And in the country, it's always something going on too. So just think about it. Like the farmers is out there milking their cows and planting their corn for the for the spring, right? So it's always uh, vibrant, vibrant. Nothing is ever at rest. The the next one is the law of polarity. And that just means that it's opposites in degree. So basically, and if you correspond it with real estate, it's, it's basically saying that a small house is the same thing as a large multifamily uh, commercial property, right? So if you take uh, the, the apartments that you live in, they the same thing as a house, it's just different degrees. One of them can only fit one person, one family, and one of them can fit multiple families, right? So it's the same thing, same concept, just different degrees. The next one gonna be the law of rhythm. And rhythm says that everything is flowing. Everything is flowing. So if you look at the market, the market is always going up and down, up and down in a rhythm that won't ever change, right? Every 10 years, we see a cycle where the uh, real estate market goes down and it comes right back up. So everything is going, moving in a rhythm. The next one going to be cause and effect. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So. If you look at it in real estate, just think about if you piled everybody on top of each other, like in the projects, right? So if you pile everyone in there, 
it's going to have an effect, right? It's going to be the bigger guys going to be picking on the littler guys. You know, it's going to be overpopulated. Uh, population growth going to get out of control. And eventually you're going to need more space because that was an action that you, that you caused by putting everybody in one little thing. But if you look at it like in the, in a, in a larger scale, like if you give everybody space, they'll have time to relax, think, uh, eat healthy. If this, they all connect, if they all piled up, they don't have a lot of food. They they scraping and scrabbling over scraps, you know. So that's cause and effect. And the last one is gender, and that states that everything has a masculine and a feminine aspect. So if you think about it in a real estate point of view, everything has a masculine and feminine principle. Just look at the Middle East, for instance, how they, they houses mostly is just a flat brown color. It's no, it's no life there, right? The, the, the streets is not uh, up to par because it's a masculine environment. The women can't vote, the women has no rights, so they don't get no input on what's going on. But if you look at a feminine aspect of real estate, it's like when the houses have nice landscaping and uh, uh, flowers outside and things like that. It's all colorful and pretty and things like that. Every It's a masculine and a feminine aspect. 